Hi, so uh, I've promised a few people on Reddit I'd give them a quick tutorial on how to do corners and get them to looking nice and neat. This is using a red buckram, uh, just a corner. You don't have to use this just for a corner. If you're doing a whole paper cover, uh, you can use it for that. What you can't use it for is leather. Leather has a whole different uh, method for binding. Okay, let's get started. We don't need a lot of equipment to do this. Some scrap paper to glue on. 15 mil gauge to measure the turn-ins. Uh, this is just 3D printed. Uh, we've got a, another gauge. I'll talk about that in the tutorial a bit more. Sharp knife, bone folder and card. Uh, some red buckram in this case, or you could use paper. PVA or EVA and a brush to brush it on with. Okay, so first step, let's glue down the buckram. Oh, I forgot to add, you will need a brush for the glue. The glue I'm using is EVA, it's just an archival type PVA. Oh, and my brush was a little bit too wet, that's alright. It's way too wet, anyway. You don't need to glue the tip of the buckram, I'll explain why in a moment. Okay. Scrap papers just so you don't get glue all over your desk. Alright, take your cover. Now, I've marked off, I've squared off one corner of this. This isn't an actual cover, this is just a demonstration for this purpose. And what I want to do is put the buckram down onto the corner. Now, this method you can use for, if you're doing like a full paper cover, then you'll already have the buckram laid down. Now, if you get a bit of glue on the buckram, all you need is just a little bit of water and it'll come straight off. That's the best part about buckram. There we go. Alright. Okay, we've got the buckram glued down onto the card. Turn it over. All right, so say you've got, uh, you could do this with a whole piece of paper on the full cover. This is, I'm just gonna show a corner to demonstrate one corner, it's quicker. First step, take this template. Now I use 15 mil for my turn-ins. It seems to work for me, but whatever distance you need. I just 3D printed a 15 mil gauge. Um, some people have nice brass ones, I don't. You wanna cut 15 mil around the edges. Best part about these 3D printed ones is I can just go and wash it after this and the glue will just come straight off you. Fix that up because I went the wrong way. Okay, so now I've got 15mm around the outside. What we do need to do is cut this tip off the buckram and that gets you the nice corner that you need. Now the distance you need to cut it from the edge of the board here, so from this point to where we cut is one and a half times the thickness of the board. So this is a two mil board. The thickness I need to cut is then three mil. Now I 3D printed this template. I got the design off Thingiverse. It's just ready to go. You can modify the distance that it's got if you want to reduce or increase the distance for the cut. So you pop that down that way with the flat side up and it flush it you know, as hard up against the corner as it will go. Cut along the edge of that. And then you've got the corner. And then that will be one and a half times, so that'll be three mil from the board edge. And that will get us a really nice corner. Okay, another bit of scrap paper. Grab my brush again. This is where we turn in the edges. Get some of that water off this time. Okay. So starting with the forage. Now you don't need a huge amount of glue. Just enough to stick it down. If you hit it too much, you end up squeezing a heap of glue out and it'll get all over everything. 
over there. Fold it over so I don't get glue everywhere. Okay, now with your bone folder, you want to fold up the edge. Run along so you get a nice uh, crease on the front and then fold it over. Put a bit of a rubble on the sides. Um, you really should use uh, baking paper if you're going to rub buckram and paper for that matter because uh, it will stop it from going all glossy from the rubbing. All right, next step. Now you'll see you've got a little pocket that's formed here from this, like the height of the board. So what we'll do is we'll take our brush and scrap paper again. Just pop a little bit of glue down there. Just enough so that we can fold it down and glue it. Now if you don't do this step, you'll end up with what's called pencil casing. It's like the bottom seam of those old pencil cases. So you push down the corner. I hope you can see this on the camera. You push down the corner so that it's glued in. And the buckram will be running the length sort of alongside the board. So it gets rid of that gap that was in there. All right, once we've done that, get some more glue on our brush and we'll glue out all the rest of this, including the little bit that we just folded over. So you're kind of gluing just that little bit of the top side of the buckram and then the rest of it as the other side. Chuck that out. Okay. Now, same as before, fold it up, make sure it's nice and See, I had too much glue on that, so it's coming out, but that's okay, it dries clear. And I can always get it off with a rag too, but this is just a demo. And we'll clean that off. But first things first, get some baking paper, rub it down really well, both sides. Make sure it's all stuck down nicely. Get some more paper with a little bit of water. Clean it off, and next time, don't use so much glue. And there we have it. So, that's the nice even corners. So you can see there's no pencil casing, it's a nice seam. None of the boards showing through on the edges. Nice and neat. So if you've got any questions, you can just put them down in the comments below. Or uh, look me up on Reddit, iron underscore J-A-Y-E-H, and I'll be able to answer any questions you have. Thanks.